क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी सम फ्यू प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन कॉर्पिट ऑसिलेटर दैट मीन्स टू फाइंड आउट द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ ऑसिलेशन टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ इंडक्टर और कैपेसिटर इफ द फ्रीक्वेंसी इज गिवन देन टू फाइंड आउट फीडबैक फ्रैक्शन फाइंड आउट आर ई दैट मीन्स एमिटर रजिस्टेंस एंड मेनी मोर फैक्टर्स सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द वीडियो The statement of the problem is: In culprit oscillator, if L equals to 40 millihenry, C1 equals to 100 picofarad, C2 equals to 500 picofarad, find out a frequency of oscillation that is F0. B, if V in is equals to 10 volt, find out feedback factor that means Vf, V feedback voltage. C, find minimum gain. D, find C1 if gain is 10, and E. Also find out new frequency of oscillation with change value of C1. So first, let's write down a given data. In this problem, they have only given the value of inductor and two capacitors. L is 40 millihenry, C1 is 100 picofarad, C2 is 500 picofarad. So first, let's find out frequency of oscillations F0. By using formula, one upon two pi square root of L C, which is equals to one upon two pi square root. Inductor value is forty millihenry. C is nothing but C one into C two divided by C one plus C two. So hundred pico into five hundred pico divided by hundred pico plus 500 pico. So we will get frequency of oscillation as, therefore, F O is equals to 87.173 kilohertz. The next thing in the problem is V in is given. So V in is equals to 10 volt, and we need to find out the feedback voltage V O. So for that purpose, we need to first find out a gain by using a values of capacitor C2 by C1. So therefore, AV is equals to C2 by C1, which is equals to 500 pico divided by 100 pico. Therefore, we'll get AV is equals to 5. Now we know that gain is nothing but ratio of output by input. So AV is equals to VO by V in. Value of AV and V in is available with us. Therefore, five is equals to VO by ten. Therefore, we'll get VO is equals to Now we have a relationship between the output voltage and feedback voltage, and the relationship is nothing but V F is equals to beta into V zero. Now next thing is to find out feedback voltage that is V F. Therefore V F is equals to V O by gain. Therefore V F is equals to 10 divided by 5. So we'll get value of V F is equals to 2 volts. Now in the problem, we have already find out F O that is frequency of oscillation, B, B that is V F feedback factor uh, voltage. Now next thing is to find out minimum gain. So let's find out minimum gain. So C part is gain minimum. So minimum gain is nothing but value of A V minimum. So A V minimum is equals to C two by C one, which is equals to 500 pico divided by 100 pico. Therefore, we'll get AV minimum is equals to five. So in this way, we can find out the value of minimum gain that must be satisfied by the circuit in order to produce oscillations at the output. Let's find out the part B that is nothing but value of C1 when other value is given. Here value of gain is given, and we have the formula gain equals to 
C2 by C1. So given gain is 10. C2 value is 500 pico divided by C1. We need to find out. Therefore, C1 is equals to 500 pico divided by 10. Therefore, we'll get C1 as 50 pico farad. Now the last thing that we need to find out the frequency of oscillations with the change value of C1. So now here we need to consider the change value that means C1 is equal to 50 picofarad and we need to calculate the value of FO. So FO is equal to 1 upon 2 pi square root of LC which is equal to 1 upon 2 pi square root of inductor value we need to consider the same that is 40 milli henry now c1 value is 50 pico value of c2 remains same that is 500 pico divided by 50 pico plus 500 pico so the frequency of oscillation obtained as f0 equals to 1 upon 2 pi square root of L is 40 milli henry into C equivalent is 45.45 into 10 raise to minus 12. Therefore, we'll get FO as 118 kilohertz. So, this is new frequency of oscillations with the new value of capacitor C1. So, in this way, we can find out the output voltage, feedback voltage based if the gain is given based on the factor of beta then we will find out the value of frequency of oscillations and many other terms now let's move to the next problem the statement of problem is in culprit oscillator l equals to 100 micro henry l rfc equals to 0 0.6 micro henry c1 equals to 0 0.001 microfarad c2 equals to 0 0.01 microfarad find out frequency of oscillation fo gain that must be satisfied by the circuit that is AV. RE if RC is 2.5 kilo ohms. Now in this problem they have mentioned the value of radio frequency choke coil. They have mentioned value of inductor along with capacitor C1 and C2. Along with F4 and AV we need to find out emitter resistance by using value of collector resistance RC. This value can be calculated by using a formula of gain. So first we will write down a given data and find out FO and AV. L is 100 micro henry. L radio frequency choke is 0 0.6 micro henry. C1 is 0 0.001 microfarad. C2 is 0 0.01 microfarad. So frequency of oscillation is 1 upon 2 pi square root of LC which is equals to 1 upon 2 pi here we need to consider the value of inductor and not radio frequency choke coil so the value of inductor is 100 micro henry into 0 0.001 micro 0 0.01 micro divided by 0 0.01 micro plus 0 0.01 micro so we will get frequency of oscillation as so fo is equals to 528 kilohertz now next is to find out feedback fraction that is nothing but value of beta and it is given by ratio of c1 and c2 so beta is equal to c1 divided by c2 which is equals to 0 0.001 microfarad divided by 0 0.01 microfarad therefore we'll get beta is equal to 0 0.1 so feedback fraction beta is equals to 0 0.1 now next thing is to find out minimum gain that must be satisfied by the circuit in order to produce oscillations and we have a formula av is equals to 1 upon beta therefore AV is equals to 1 upon beta which is equals to 1 upon 0 0.1 so we will get AV is equals to 10 now by using this value of AV we can easily find out the value of RE 
if value of RC is given. So the part C is RC is given as 2.5 kilo ohms. The relationship between AV, RC and RE is given by formula AV is equals to RC upon RE. We have value of collector resistor, we have value of AV. So let's find out RE by using formula RC upon AV which is equals to 2.5 kilo ohms divided by 10. So we will get RE is equal to 250 ohms. So in this way we can find out the values of various parameters of Colpit oscillator by using various formulas. So I hope you understand this problem. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.